Currently in Africa, drought affects about 300 million people. Maize as a crop is a very important cereal grown all over Eastern and Southern Africa as well as Western Africa. Over 300 million, half of Africa's population, rely on maize as their major food crop. WEMA stands for Water Efficient Maize for Africa. It is a project that aims to develop maize that is drought tolerant. That has the ability to give African farmers high yields, even in the presence of drought. And WEMA is geared towards developing drought tolerant maize varieties that are adapted to the African conditions, which would uh, uh, help to increase yield production uh, during seasons when you have drought stress, which are becoming common in Africa. That is a partnership among AETF, which is the African Agricultural Technology Foundation, CIMIT, the International Maize and Wheat uh, Improvement Center, a private sector, uh, company, Monsanto, and the five national institutions. It's actually a private-public partnership project. And these partners bring in different strengths. And I think it's intended and designed to really enable us to accomplish what none of us could have done all by ourselves. CIMIT brings in many years of research in maize, and they have jam plasm that has been widely tested in many parts of Africa and world at large. The national research agencies each understand and develop hybrids that are suitable for their country. Um, they are uh, the recognized authority for development of suitable hybrids. The farmers trust them. In addition to this, the national systems work hand in hand with the ministries of agriculture and their extension services. Thus making the products that are going to come out of Wilma even more acceptable to the end user who are the small scale farmers of these areas that are prone to drought. AATF uh, serves a very important function, we believe, in Africa of working to enable smallholder farmers there to access the best technologies that there are in the world. Monsanto, on the other hand, will give us the best technology available currently that will be able to address the issues of drought. We can benefit uh, from the private sector with the modern technology uh, perhaps where biotechnology is involved. We recognize that, particularly with the challenges going on with climate change and other things, that smallholder farmers in Africa really need this technology. We felt that it's really important that we find a way to, to enable access to this product as quickly as possible um, to what our U.S. program is doing, and that the best way to do that was really through working with these partners. This project aims to develop varieties that will not only protect farmers' crop from changing erratic rainfall patterns, but also will increase yield and productivity of farmers who will grow maize, and also that will increase their household income. When you look at the whole value chain of maize, from the seed production all the way through the growing process, and all the way to the marketing process, I think it provides not only the food, but also employment for a large number of Africans. If you can somehow secure or improve the security of that maize production, you make a huge contribution uh, to people's livelihood, to their health, to their feeling of dignity, to their ability to look after their families. If we can address the issue of maize availability in the country, we will have addressed one of the major causes of food insecurity in the country.